Hello and welcome back to Cloudpunk City of Ghosts. We need to deliver a package to Don V, uh, which appears to be this buzzer here. Hi, is anyone home? I have a package. I don't want it. Wait, do I know you? Maybe. I think I saw you near the spire. Right. Don V, I'm a reporter and I need you to leave. You don't want the package? I did, but I've been compromised. It could be a trap. You should dump it. Forget you met me. That bad, huh? Absolutely. Corpsec? I wish. The chorus. The chorus. If anyone says the word again, pretend you never heard it. Right. So, in the trash? Right. I have to ask. What was it supposed to be? What's the cloud punk rule? Don't ask what's in the package. But I'm really terrible at following that one. And if it's going in the trash anyway... It's documents revealing the true identities of chorus members in Nivalis. But I'm exposed. They know I'm onto them. The information could be compromised, or it could be a trap. Or you might just be carrying a bomb. Shit. Not for the first time. Well, thanks for the warning, I guess. Stay safe, Rania. You too, Don. Alright, so once again, are we going to have one of those situations where we have to choose whether to throw it away or keep package? it? This is not how package delivering is supposed to work. I know, Camus. He didn't want it. Why not? It's a trap. Or a bomb. I don't know. Let's dump it. Jen, give me a nav point for a trash chute to the bottom of the ocean. Nav point generated. All right, let's go do some of that. Over to the left. Lovely. Okay, so this isn't going to be one of those situations where we have to choose whether we want to keep it or dump it. Or maybe it will. Hey, Rainio. We don't know each other, but we spoke outside the sin wave a few months back. I'm Amelia. Sure. What do you want, Amelia? You uh, have a package, right? For Don? I'm not allowed to say. Bring it to me. You're going to dump it anyways. I'll make it worth your while. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, it could get me fired. We don't have time for this, Rania. The chorus are dangerous. You have no idea what you're getting mixed up in. Bring me the package and get yourself out of this mess. Sending you a nap point now. The package is flashing. The package is emitting light in a repeating pattern. I see it. Quiet, you two. Amelia, what do you know about this package? Ouch. It's not a bomb. It's not dangerous. Except in the information it carries. How can I trust you? That's the kind of question I want you to ask, Rania. It shows me that you're thinking. At least a little. You should ask that question about everyone you know. What will you do with the information in the package? You remember Rubric? You thought he was the most dangerous man in Midtown, right? Well, he's just one tiny part of the chorus, Rania. If you get that package to me, I'll use what's inside to hurt him, like he hurt you. I'll think about it. Jen, close the channel. So as you can probably tell, I'm, uh, I'm feeling like I'm going to trust Emilia Ao. Here she is. I'm glad you came. Tell me how you're going to use this to hurt Rubric. The less you know, the safer you'll be. In this case, I'm willing to take the risk. On your head. Rubric is a node for the chorus. That means he's a low-level member. But he does their bidding. What about his boss, Lomo? Lomo isn't his boss. Not really. If push came to shove, Rubric could snap his fingers and Lomo would be replaced by some other mobster. Interesting. And you? I was displaced by Rubric. The chorus places members in specific positions within society. They needed a member of the criminal underworld. They have hands on all the levers of power. Why are you scowling at me? I don't know. Sounds like your standard crazy conspiracy theory to me. It's a conspiracy fact. With these names, I can blackmail Rubric. I can leak them on the Undernet. Or threaten to. He'll be blamed for it. The chorus will come for him. Wait, you're just gonna threaten him? All I need to do is scare him off to get my old job back. Wait, that wasn't the deal. You're supposed to take Rubric out. I can't get rid of him completely. But I can scare him off. That will have to be enough. 
Even if this information is wrong? I don't think he knows that. It's leverage over him, and that's all I need. Another weapon in an information war. Great. Hey, he's not going to be happy about this. And I've transferred you some limbs. You did the smart thing, Rania. It doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't feel like it. I'm sort of feeling like I might have accidentally made myself a little bit of an enemy here. That said, are there some things to pick up around here? There's a few blue dots. Might as well dash around and pick those up. Rania, we just got a job in. High risk, low pay, need someone fast and reckless. It's got your name all over it. Great, what's the job? You heard of a guy called the Phase Runner? Nope. Me neither, but he insists he's famous. Anyway, we need you to grab a package from HQ and take it to him. On my way. He says he's a secret vigilante, so be careful, I guess. Should I be worried about vigilantes? I'd be worried about anyone who's eager to tell you their secret vocation. So before I do dash off and pick up that payload, I am going to explore the rest of this area. Looks like taking this little teleporty, transporty, belty thing across will enable me to get to the items on the other side. Once again, Cam is doing his thing where he's taking a very indirect route onto the elevator. It's getting slightly annoying. I do have to say, I find it mildly disappointing that this DLC has got me running around exactly the same areas that I ran around in the base game, picking up basically exactly the same items that I picked up in the base game. I feel like it would have been nice if they could have done something a little bit different, just to, just to keep things a little bit more varied. Right, how do I get back to the hover? Uh, it looks like this way over here might be blocked, so I guess I need to backtrack. Hello, dealer. Nestor Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. I don't want either of those things. All. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger. Okay, here we are back at the hover. So we're going to be heading towards Cloudpunk HQ to pick up our new package. And I also need to keep an eye out for an opportunity to do some repairs. Especially now. I think I do see a repair shop just over to the right, actually. I wonder if I can cut through these buildings. Ah, perfect. Alright, how much are these repairs going to cost me? Only 317. Lovely. I can now also afford the active lateral repulsor. Too cool. So I'm going to buy that because it's too cool, as Rania says herself. Okay, now we can make our way to Cloudpunk HQ. What's this area we're passing here? Okay, well that doesn't have any of the ferro fibres to pick up, so I'm going to skip it on this occasion. Ah, that went quite badly. Ah, oh, it's because my boost was still active, I think. Okay, I'm gonna try the uh, the new lateral watsits. Uh, oh, that did it. Yep, I have shoulder buttons for doing such things. Oh, that can sometimes result in a bit of a crashing, though look out for that. I'm just going to check the map just to see if there are any places nearby where we can pick up some ferro fibre. Uh, it looks like there's one near the Cloudpunk HQ and one down there. Let's head down there and pick up that one that's nearby. Okay, now I think if I can just park up here, that will hopefully put me near to the, ouch, underside. I think this is near to where I want to be. Let's just consult the map. Nexus cluster, is that right? Yeah, the ferro fibre is down at the other end here. Let's go grab that. Okay, got that. And while we're here, looks like there are also a few pieces of loot on the ground in this area. So let's pick them up while we're here. 
looks like there might be someone to talk to over here as well. Let's go have a chat. Whole pie. Hey, I smell something good on you, lady. Excuse me? I believe you are correct, my esteemed colleague. This young lady has consumed an item of great gastronomic import. Huh? Huh? My distinguished colleague here has detected you've been eating something good. Tell me I'm lying here, huh? Uh, good nose, I guess. Bit weird, stopping people on the street to talk to them about their lunch. Lunch? Oh, I think not, madam. Surely you have suffered at this time of the night. Or mayhap you have partaken of a cheeky nighttime snack? Mayhap. <laughs> Listen, fellas, Madame is very busy, so... Indeed, pardon our impropriety. Yeah, like he said, we didn't mean nothing. However, if you've got some cutting-edge artifacts of gastronomic interest, we'll give you a good price. You mean you want to buy my food? Sorry, not right now. No matter. Return forthwith if you change your mind. Yeah, come back anytime you've got something good. We'll make it worth your while. Okay. Side quest. Sell crispy meat soup to whole pie. How odd. Okay. Well, there are a couple more items to pick up in this area. So let's go and pick those up. And maybe we'll bump into some kind of merchant who wants to sell us crispy meat soup. Hello, friend. Do you just ride this elevator all day long? Sounds like a thrilling life you lead. So this chorus organization that people are all talking about, it has not escaped my notice that chorus and Cora have similarities. Hey, how you doing? I got a question for you real quick, like, um, uh... Yes? I was just wondering, uh, if you're driving, if you're liking it and stuff. Like, you have a nice hover, so is it a good job? No. What do you want, kid? I was just making conversation for no special reason or nothing. Is someone uh, sneaking so up on me from behind? Uh... I'm working. Bye. Right, sure. Hey, have a nice day, lady. That was weird. That did feel suspiciously like the kind of thing where one guy is distracting us while someone sneaks up behind us and steals our limbs. But we have the same number of limbs that we had before, so that can't be it. Right, picked up that item. Can I talk to this ganger again? Okay. I don't have a talk option, but he does still have an icon on the map. That could mean something. Right, so there's one more blue icon to pick up down at the end here. I also feel like talking to this merchant as well. Oh, it's Patty Green. Hey, cutie. You want to buy some fresh walnuts, or are you looking for a date? Okay, and I think Patty Green is good for selling things too. Oh, yeah, Electronics 90, that's that's a good price. So let's, let's just sell a few spare items. And I'm quite tempted to buy this Spire Access ticket. I feel like I might need that at some point. So I'm going to get that. That has Thanks for this. mostly cleared me out. Anytime, honey. So, um, yeah, let's hope I don't need to spend lots of money in the near future. I'm going to need to repair my hover at some point, but I've got enough money for that. Right, where's the pickup? Just here. And corpse set clerk. Okay, you're marked on the map, but walking up to you has not resulted in a prompt, so can't talk to you right now, apparently. I wonder if there's somewhere near here where we can buy that crispy meat soup. It might be that thing all the way up at the top there. Hmm, I should go and check that out, really. Hello, waiter. Any crispy, meaty thing? Okay. There we go. Welcome to my humble. Ah, it's the brummy again. The rain. What can I get you? Okay, no crispy meat soup. Thank so you. not here. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. All right. So that's something we're going to have to keep a lookout for in a different area of the world entirely. Fine. Okay, let's head back to the hover. Let's head on towards Cloudpunk HQ, pick up the payload there, and the ferro fibre that's near to the HQ that we spotted earlier. Okay, here we are back at the hover. Parking prohibited. I grokked you to oh, the, it's the ganger. As soon as you hit our hood. 
I'm a gang of guy, in case you don't know. Huh? I saw you don't carry no iron and got pockets full of creds. My buddy delayed you so I could get the jump. Don't snark with me or I'll frack your skulls with blasto shards faster than a spicer would knock a reaper arg. Intruder detected in the vehicle, located in the rear seat. He has a lethal weapon in his possession. I see him, Jen. Great security subsystems, by the way. My colleague used his deck to hollow the cyber firewalls, no difficulty. We hacked the hover like it was noob tech. I have two ways we can improve this robbery process for both of us, ganger guy. What are you talking about, corpo? First off, I have barely any money, so you're wasting your time. And I am not a corpo. Second, can Jen translate for us? I barely understand a word you're saying. It's cause my verbiage is too shocking and raw for you. No, I don't think that's it. <laughs> Just drive, lady. I got the city to burn. Listen, lady, you might be scared of me cause I'm a fucking rock star, master hacker, major player, but don't be. I work hard and play hard, but I ain't no villain. It's fine. I've been robbed plenty of times. For real? Sure, weekly. This is Navalis, after all. So, them other robberies, uh, how was they happening? Am I just like them? I mean, did they say something different? You're doing just fine, Ganger Kai. You wanna know what's in my bag? It will blow your minds. I'm good. It's a dildo! <laughs> <laughs> Wild, right? I mean, it's a whole bag of dildos. Can you believe it? Wow. Is it too much for you to handle? Sure, that's why you need a bag, right? No, I mean, are you, uh, freaked out? Oh yeah, mind blown. You wanna know what it's like to live the gang of life? What it's like to klepto a bank, a grok, a cyborg who side-eyes your girl? I guess. And you sure wanna tell me. He does talk well, a lot of bollocks, doesn't he? Yo. You just gotta live it. You can't figure me out, lady. I was born for Navalis. You could do anything here. Switch your flesh for cyber steel. Um, <laughs> live your sick VR fantasies. Sell out to a corpo shill, whatever, but deep down, it's the creed you choose that defines the badass you are. You like Navalis then? Like it? I love it. Love it like a ma who dumped me at birth and now wants to bomb my smokes and kill my stepdad. Sounds like you had a hard life, ganger guy. It's just an expression, doggy, is how we real punks talk. Hey, where are we going? Hollow cash machine. There's one closer. Wanna go there instead? Huh? Uh oh. Um, yeah, make it fast. Cl what? Oh. Okay. <laughs> closer. Right. Yeah, this isn't closer. We were pretty much at the destination there. Where are we now? Goodness knows. Right, I need to get myself back onto one of those expressways so I stop slurping down loads of fuel unnecessarily. Uh, okay, that doesn't help me at all. Oh, there's one. Botev Avenue. Is that going to be right across on the other side of the world? Okay, Botev Avenue is quite close now. Uh, I think we want to turn... Uh-oh! Oh, nearly tonked a thing quite hard. Right, I need to find somewhere to park. Uh, I think it's probably going to be around this side. And this looks like a parking spot. Alright, we now have Ganger in tow along with Camus. How exciting. Hey, wait a minute. Where have you taken us? This is Ripper Court territory. Oh yeah, I know. They're real nasty. But you can handle that, right? Uh, sure. How do you know them? I delivered a crate of razor blades and sawn off shotguns last week. And cheesecake. They're real sweethearts. Good friends of mine. Wait, you're in with the Ripper Court? Sure. Quick, transfer me that deed for the hollow cash. I, I got a split. Excuse me? Give me your hollow cash digits. I gotta grab the limbs and boost. Sure. My number is one, two, three, four, and uh, four again. Don't play with me. I'm not playing with you. That's my hollow cash number. You can ask Big Nash Ripper, head of the Ripper Corps gang, if you don't believe me. He lives right there in that apartment. Damn, lady, I don't know if you're playing with me. Are you for real? You got me thinking this is all a dream. Then wake the fuck up, ganger guy. Don't you have a city to burn? 
Ha, we outsmarted you, stupid ganger guy. Worst ganger I've ever met. Who talks like that? That wasn't even a real gun. Poor kid. Who is Big Nash Ripper? Dunno, Camus. I made him up. Did we do the right thing? Letting him go? Don't worry, Camus. That man is going to hurt himself. And when he does, I won't help him. Don't think we had a choice whether to let him go or not. Okay, so there are uh, one or two items to picked up around here, so I'll do the usual little explory thing. I think I also see a person over here to talk to. And it looks like there might be some sort of food stall here. I wonder if they sell crispy meat pie. Oh no, hold on. It's not. It's a hollow cache. For some reason, I thought that icon kind of looked like a big old piece of pizza. And I got a little peckish. There's a food stall over here. They might have crispy meat soup. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? None of these are crispy meat soup. Thanks Not even this. close. Y'all come back, you hear? And before we return to the hover, it looks like there's another food stall here. What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. I'm looking for crispy meat pie, but you don't have it, so Thanks. you lied. Hey, come back any time, lady. You made me a promise that whatever it is, you've got it, and that clearly, provably, is false. My disappointment is tangible. Right. We now need to make our way all the way back over to Cloudpunk HQ after this detour to the other side of the world. And I am starting to get a little bit concerned about the financial state because we need repairs and we need fuel. Oh last thing you need when you're parking up to get repairs is to tonk against the mechanic. 309. Oh, we're running out of money and we're running out fast. Okay, we need to economise on fuel. And we definitely also need to hit things a bit less than we have been doing recently. Okay, there's a fuel aru here. Let's see how much it is. 314. And there's cheaper places. I need to wait a bit before I spend my money. All right, we have arrived at Cloudpunk HQ, not taking too much damage. Let's pick up our package. We have an incoming call from the current client. Put him through, I guess. Is this the Cloudpunk? I need you here now. It's time to take down Razlo for good. I'm the Cloudpunk delivery driver. Who is Razlo? This game is over. We're here to end this Cloudpunk. I need to know you have my back. One last time. I have your package, and I'm on my way. Is that good enough? You have the Mark III Eviscerator pistol? Load it for me. Incendiary slugs. I'll need it to stop these hunter slayers. I just have a package, and I'm not supposed to open it. And if it's a gun, I'm definitely not opening it. Not a gun. It's a lethal urban pacification device utilizing a ballistic conflict resolution system. Sounds like a gun well, to me. I'm not loading that either. I'll be there in a minute. Jen, cut calm. This sounds dangerous. What is a Razlo? What are Hunter Slayers? Hunter Slayers sound bad. They do, Camus. Let's just do our job. Get in, deliver the package, get out. Okay, and we don't have a timer, so that's good. Do you have crispy meat pie? Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Crispy meat soup. That's just what we needed. Bosh. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. Nice. So we've got the crispy meat soup. That's brilliant. Now my question is, how do we get to that white pickup over there? I assume we have to go across the top. Let's dash all the way over there. I want that ferro fibre. Looks like there's a merchant here. Julia Navago. Your face looks familiar. Do you need some stems? Uh, no, I don't, thank you. Thanks. See you again. Soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Here we go. It took a long detour, but we're here. We've got the ferro fibre. 
Brilliant. That's a nice fire. And now we have to backtrack all the way back to the hover. I don't believe there is a shortcut available. Here we are, back at the hover. So we need some money. Fuel is a bit of a problem. Do we think we're going to get more money from delivering the package or from selling the meat pie? I feel like delivering the package we should probably do first because that is nearby, that's in this area. Where's our nearest car park? Down at the end there, okay. Just below us here. Ah, Link Road, I remember this area. Uh, is that the parking area here? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Ah, here we go. Come on, Camus. Right, before we do deliver this package, let's pick up the items in this area. If this doesn't get me lots of limbs, then I'm going to need to start selling stuff to get money because my situation is getting desperate. I have been doing a better job of avoiding crashing into things, so hopefully I won't have to spend as much money on repairs. But yeah, fuel is definitely going to, be, going to become an issue soon. Okay, so before I talk to you, I'm just going to pick up the item that's over here. He's not here. Oh. Should we call control? Maybe, or we could just message this phase runner guy. I'm coming back to the Hava anyway. What did you find? Looks like there was a fight. Or maybe just someone with a rifle really? messing around hurt themselves. It's not dangerous? Oh, the blood, yeah. Not anymore. Jen, can you put me in contact with the phase runner? Calling, calling, call. Our back is up against the wall, Cloud Punk. I took out the gangers at Midtown. I beat them to death with a lead pipe. I need my eviscerator if I'm going to make it through this night. Where are you now? Sitting in point. Move fast. We're almost at the core of this rotten cadaver. Time to cut out the heart. Right. On my way. The phase runner sounds like he is in trouble. And maybe he doesn't understand who you are? I know, Camus. We're just delivering a package, though. If the job seems dicey, we can bail. Cloudpuck, are you there? I'm heading downtown on a quadro cycle. But Razlo has sent mecha tanks after me. I'm changing our rendezvous point. This is the end game. What? Fine, just send me the new nav point. Watch your back, Cloud Punk. Tonight it's them or us. Oh. Uh-huh. I have a question. I don't know what a quadro cycle is, or a mecha tank. I am excited to see what the phase runner looks like. He seems very heroic. Running around town shooting people isn't heroic, Camus. It's crazy. But he says he is fighting Razlo. That is what he says. Well, I am excited to finally meet the phase runner. I am surprised you are not. You can be excited enough for both of us, Camus. So yeah, once again, I'm I'm starting to worry about the, the whole money situation. You know, after having made a big deal about the fact that money isn't really a problem in this game, it does seem like I'm going to soon find myself having to decide between repairs or fuel. I can't have both. What's the price of fuel here? 3.49. Whew, daylight robbery, no thank you. Mm, this seems like a seedy area. Ah, Cambria Heights again. We were here in the last episode, weren't we? Cloud Punk, stay back. The Mecha have a dermal cloaking field. They look like people, but they're on to us. So, you don't want your package? I still need the eviscerator. But you don't want me to come? Tin for old friend. We've been through too much together. Have we? <laughs> without the eviscerator, I might not make it. You'll have to take out Razlo without me. You can do it. I taught you everything I know. No. Hold on, the phase runner. <laughs> it's not over Camus yet. Camus getting into it. Wait, is it only humans the Mecha are targeting? They're only after me and you? Correct. What if I send my dog with your package? Would he be okay? It... it might just work. This is our last chance. Right. Camus, that okay with you? You trust me to go on this mission? It... isn't too dangerous? I am confident that the amount of danger Mr. Phase Runner is in is an amount you can handle. I won't let you down. Either of you. Just give him the package and hurry back so we can get out of here. Good boy. Oh, Camus. 
I'm playing as Camus. This is brilliant. I mean, I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to drive the hover. Here we go. Delivering packages. Who's a good boy? I'm a good boy. I've got no limbs at all. I mean, I've got like arms and legs, but limbs in terms of currency. Look at that. A big round zero. Dogs don't have any need for money. Apparently. I wonder if um, Camus would have been able to pick up loot items if I hadn't picked them up already. Hello, Phase Runner. Woof. I am Camus, the delivery dog. Are you the Phase Runner? I am. You don't seem to be in much danger now. I just saw off the last wave of Mecha. I am a hate machine, fueled by a burning rage, and my fires won't be quenched till Raslo is dead. I am a dog, and I have your package. Right. Where's Cloudpunk? Uh, Rania is waiting in her hover. I need a ride, and I need my partner by my side. The Phase Runner and Cloudpunk stick together till the end. I am not so sure. Let's go, dog. And now we need to return to the hover. With Phase Runner in tow. Ah, this makes a nice change, doesn't it? The human following the dog. We'll be back at the hover in no time. Every time I need to return to the hover, I'm always ever so slightly worried that something's going to have gone wrong. I mean, it's still being marked on the map, so that's promising. But, you know, what if someone's kidnapped Rania? Here we go. Enter the vehicle. And we're back as Rania. So what now? Camus, why do we have a guest? The Phase Runner needs a ride. The Phase Runner and Cloudpunk stick together. It's good to be reunited, old friend. Hi, it's nice to meet you for the first time. I'm Rania. I have the Eviscerator pistol. It's time to even the score. I'm just a delivery driver. You shouldn't be in my hava. When this is over, we'll both be rich. When Raslo's body is cold and still, you'll get double the limbs you expected. I can drop you off somewhere, I guess. Razzle's place, Midtown. His base of operations is a fortified bunker, beneath what looks like a normal apartment. I'll go in through the roof, take out the first two guards with CQC, bust down the door to the guard room and throw a thermite grenade to take out most of them, grab a shotgun from one of the mecha guards and work my way down through the floors one by one till it's just me and him. Right, I'll let you get on with that. When we get there, just hover over the skylight. I'll do the rest. Hmm, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop at a parking bay. What you do from there is up to you. Good plan, Cloudbuck. That's all I need to finish the job. All right, and that is what we will do in the next episode. So hope you join me then for more Cloudpunk. Bye-bye.